Okay, this is a short video for Gail. Uh, she wanted us a short tutorial on how to use one of these bottle jacks. So Gail, uh, let's start with the valve. This is the valve that if you want to jack it up, you take your jack handle, which is typically the shape of that right there, and you turn that valve clockwise tight all the way. And to raise it, you put your pipe in here and you jack it like this. You see how it's coming up? To fine tune it, let's say that you've only got about, oh, four inches of piston length here meaning when you jack it, that's all this is going to come up is about four inches. So if you got something that's taller than that, these unscrew out of the piston about the same, about, oh, four inches, three and a half, four inches. So you would have eight inches of reach. And, uh, you know, if that's not good enough or high enough, you can put, you know, two by four under here and you can raise the jack this way, or you can put a two by four on top of here to get what you're trying to jack. Now uh, here's how it lowers. You lower it by turning it counterclockwise. About a turn. And then uh, this, this comes down. So here's the last thing is they have a valve here, a little rubber grommet that you get a screwdriver behind and, and pull it out. And there's <coughs> jack oil it's supposed to fill this, the level is supposed to be right even with the bottom of this hole. And you can buy jack oil uh, at uh, AutoZone, you know, any of the auto parts stores. I don't really know if anything else we'll use will suffice besides jack oil, so I wouldn't suggest it. And uh, if, you, if it's really low, uh, you may have a leak somewhere. And storage. Never store these laying down. Always store them sitting up like this. And if you do find that you're, you've leaked a bunch out and you have to fill it up, what you have to do is purge it. And that means you jack it up, close the valve, jack it all the way up, open the valve, push it down, and you've got to do that a few times to run the air out of, the, out of this valve here. And if that doesn't work, if your jack comes if you're jacking something up and it'll raise up and it'll slowly come back down what you have is o-rings on the piston that are bad and in my opinion none of these jacks are worth the amount of time it takes to take this apart and replace the o-rings they're you know just too too cheap to go buy a new one and i know that doesn't sound like something a rebuild repair repurpose guy would say but uh you know, you can buy these at Harbor Freight for what, 20 bucks uh, or even less. And by the time you take this apart and buy the proper, uh, some of the rings are Teflon. I mean, there's there's a lot to replace in there. And then again, it might be a, a bad valve, you know, which also has O-rings on it. By the time you did all that, it would just be cheaper to take 20 bucks and go buy another jack. That's my opinion. If you have any questions, Gil, just ask away.